Okay, finally got to the comic book store. And for the most part, I made out pretty well. Definitely, be def definitely better than last time. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that. So, I didn't find Last Ronin, which kind of which kind of pissed me off. Because I expected him always to have that. Um, but it, w it was nice because it was expensive. So what was nice about all the comics I didn't get is that I wouldn't have been able to get what I got without it. Well, er everything that I got without it. I would have to sacrifice some items. Um, so first and foremost, and I think this is the only Aquaman book I'll ever own. Um, for at least for a while now, is Aquaman, the 80th anniversary, 100 page giant. Um, I got this sorely because, mainly because, uh, I almost said Grant Morrison. Hell, he could be on there too. Um, I'm, I have Grant Morrison on the mind, so I'm gonna have to buy that, um, because they, they have it on sale, um, the Flex Mentallo series, which is not included in Doom Patrol Omnibus for no reason. Okay, so Aquaman, 100 page giant, 80th anniversary. They're probably, if they haven't already, going to come out with the book to, com to coincide with it. Uh, Dark Ages. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I always get this confused with Dark Agnes. It was, and I hope it's not the prelude to this, but it was like a one-shot type dealing. And then it opens. Marvel never does this. And it was still the same price. This is what they should always do. I don't give a fuck. About, oh, it would cost more. No, it wouldn't. This is still four ninety nine, bitch. Is There's no point in it. And DC, like, mm, even DC, I don't like what they do. Uh, this isn't too bad for Amazing Fantasy issue 2. Which, why do I feel like I have this? I don't. I know I don't. Right? Has this on the back, did they? No. No, they didn't. No. No. I, I wouldn't know. Um, I think I'm getting confused because... Mar uh, the the place where I look up is Comic List from, I don't know what the place is called, um, what is it? It's Go Collect, Comic List from Go Collect. They had this wrong. Issue three was supposed to come out this week along with the Green Lantern and this and this and that. And I think it was just Diamond or someone just fucked up and we didn't get half the comics that they they advertised, which was nice because again, I was able to get the comics I was able to get. Those are probably coming out next week. I'll bet. I know one of two of them. One or two of them got delayed. Actually, a bunch of them got delayed. So it might be because of the fact that issue three of something is being delayed. So issue two is being delayed too. I don't know. But Amazing Fantasy issue two. And I say what I liked about this is that it's different paper for inside the book and outside the book. Marvel, for the most part, it's the same same inside paper as is outside. Issue nineteen of Something Is Killing the Children. I was very happy to find this. Now, what's weird is that Amazon only has 20, 20 listed for that. For, um, something that's killing the children. So I wonder if it's ending after issue 20. I don't think it is. It's a huge moneymaker. I think it's almost, I think it's bound to always top the charts for that month. Uh, Batman Reptilian issue book three. I don't know why they say, sometimes they say books and they say issues. It's weird. The Batman Reptilian, Something is Killing the Children, and TMNT Last Ronin, probably Firepower too. Firepower did not find. I always want to um, be caught up on. Symbiote Spider-Man Crossroads, Issues 1 and 2. So I think what happened with Issue 1 is that I'd forgotten to get it the first time. I was already a week or two behind. And so they, put it, they took it off of their last week in this week's pile and put it in the um, Spider-Man pile just so, you know, when you cycle through them of the back issues. So I just did not find it that last, that last time. Never thought to look behind there. Then they had issue two come out this week. This is the only symbiote Spider-Man book I have that's not part of a book. I, I'm still, I'm still um, unsure of whether or not I'm going to get that uh, symbiote Spider-Man King, King and Black one. Um, continuing on the Spider-Man train with non-stop Spider-Man issue 4. A series that keeps getting delayed. Is this Joe? Yep, it's Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly is very hit or miss with me. Because I really did not like his Deadpool book. But I liked his Deadpool and Spider-Man. That was later on. I, and I, what I mean by his Deadpool run is I mean the 1997 series. And that, that I, I just don't like because it's dated. It's like not Deadpool in the sl it's well it's, it is Deadpool but it's not like hard R Deadpool it's like PG-13 at the most Deadpool 
Uh, and just kind of does not fit the character too much for me. It's just still, like, it's not, like, to a total, like, misfire. But for me, I'm just like, eh. I do like the Spider-Man Deadpool series. That was damn good. I wish that my library had the next few volumes of that. Um, this, we will definitely be going over um, the Marvel previews for November. And finally, now you, uh, Once in Future, issue 19. Now, you may be asking me, Justin, why did you get issue 19 if you only have volumes one of, volume one of Once in the Future? Well, thanks to Newberry Comics, is, 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 buy one, get one free sale, I was able to, but sorry, no, buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one half off. I was able to get Once in Future, volume two, and volume three, and then get issue 19, because issue 19 is the newest, um, issue, I hope. Which is very nice. Um, the only thing, the only exception, is that, and it's by Karen, it's by Karen Gillan. I like these, like, um, I'm actually reading his Journey into Mystery, and I actually like it a lot better than I did the first time. Um, so I, I like when he goes back, and I like when he, I like his writing. And this is, like, um, Wicked, Wicked into Divine, but it's for King Arthur instead. You know, it has, still has to do with myth, myth, mythological creature, uh, characters, and creatures, too. But yeah, I was able to get, finally get caught up on that series. So, then I was about to get two other books before I saw Once in Future. But I was like, well, they have a DC Comics, they have a DC Comics Super Sale, which is selling every single comic book for three bucks. I swear to God, every single comic book. And it's selling like five bucks. Um, one of them is like, I don't know, but like, Why the Last Man? Book f uh, books one through five, two ninety nine each. Two ninety nine each. That's twelve issues, and that like pisses me off because I hate having to feel a need to have to waste my money on a bunch of digital shit, even though I want it. I still want it, but it's like, why? I I, I wouldn't get. I I, I love stuttering. No, it's only stuttering. Yeah, I'm stuttering. Um, I wouldn't get why, why the last man. I, I already read that series and I have it at the local library. I wouldn't waste my money on that. Although I did. The once in future two and three they did have at the library interloans, but um. I was like, the hell with that, I'm gonna get it, like... And it's one of those, the, the one exception I have for a series is if they don't have, if a series isn't over, I won't get the intro loans. So I'd have to get issue 19 myself, you know, if I want to keep going with the series, you know? And yeah, I probably should have read volume 1 beforehand. So anyways, super long, um, unnecessary intro over. Um, I was gonna get these two books at first, then I saw Once in Future, it's like, damn it, I don't have enough money. But then, I had 30 bucks left over, and it was still buy one, get one half off, so I got Suicide Squad Case Files, book one, and book two. I really hope they don't have any more books in this series. I don't think they would, because of the fact that, um, I feel like Newberry Comics would have them. Now, what is this exactly? This has every first appearance of, the, at least the main cast. So we got first Peacemaker, I think. I think it does. Super, I know, I know Superboy number 9 has a first appearance. Ooh, was that Superman from the John Byrne era? Yeah, they have Bloodsport's first appearance. King Shark's first appearance. I know, I know. Damn it. I already have that one. Okay, so it's just one. Um, I have at le I think at least one from each, from book one and book two. I have at least one or two issues already from like and in and other trades. I don't think physically. It'd be nice if I had one of them physically, because that'd be worth a lot a lot more money now, especially the Harley, Harley Quinn one. Okay, so let's go through what they collect. This is volume two, right? Yep, volume two, collecting. It's a pretty thick trade, too. I li like that Boom Studios and Image... Everyone but Marvel does this with their th with their thinner trades to make it look like it's more. Uh, 7 through 12. But the page quality is better. Uh, Mar Marvel's page quality is pretty good with their trades. It's just their skinny-ass trades. I think, I think this is 13 to 18. In fact, I know it's 13 to 18. Why wouldn't it be? I did not make sure of that, actually. Did I make sure of that? Yeah, 13 to 18. Of that one. And then, Suicide Squad Case Files number one. 
collect stories from Detective Comics 300, The Fury of Firestorm, issue 38, Suicide Squad, volume 4, Amanda Waller, I think? They, um, put that over there, the price tag. So I'm gonna say Amanda Waller, number 1, Superboy, issue 9, Superman 4, which I already have, um, and 170, and Vigilante, issue 36. Do I even, do I have Peacemaker's first appearance? Oh, it's not even, oh my god, what the fuck? It's not even Amanda Waller's first appearance. Because I know she did, I know she's, um, she was way back in the day. Because she's in the new Suicide Squad series. Well, at least I have King Shark's first appearance. But it makes no sense to me why they wouldn't collect their first appearance. Okay, so I take back what I said. It's not every single, um, first appearance. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely not the thinker's first appearance. Nice, Suicide Squad 25. Polka Dot Man, I guess, yeah, I know Polka Dot Man is his first appearance there. Uh, Peacemaker, I'm not 100% sure of. But yeah, a couple ones I already had. But I got one, I got one half off, and it was, I guess it was worth it. And this one collects Batman and Harley Quinn, number one, which I already had. Birds of Prey, 58. Boots are Gold, number one. Detective Comics, 585. Green Lantern, 174. Secret Origins, 14, which I already read. And Suicide Squad, 44. So there's at least one or two of them I already have. I really should have made sure, I really should have, like, double-checked. I mean, I'm still glad I have it. It's just the whole reason why I got it was because I thought it had all of their first appearances. And it doesn't look like it does. So it's like it's half of them. Because I know Amanda Waller's first appearance was not that recent. It was pretty, it was a pretty it was a long time ago. At least it's not one I already have, I guess. I don't even know, do I even have that Suicide Squad number 44? Yeah, it's not even Captain Boomerang's first appearance. What the hell? Why'd they do that? The whole point of the case files, you would think, is to have the actual first appearance. I could be wrong, but <laughs> you'd think. Maybe it's Javelin's first appearance. Maybe Ratcatcher's first appearance. Not the one we saw, the father. Character. Uh, Rick Flag, no. And Rick Flag, it's in Secret Origins, which I've already fucking read. I know it's not his first appearance. At least I don't think it is. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, you know, I, most of them I already, I, um, I don't already have. It's not like it's half of them or anything like that. I think it's, I think it's eight, it's, I think it's like seven, six to eight per, uh, book. Do they even have a case finals part three? They do want to have screen. But yeah, so, I, and those books are, I think, are too new for them to have it on, um, for the DC sale. They probably wouldn't, honestly. Because they don't like to do, they don't like to put newer books on sale unless they unless they do have it you know unless they um unless that's part of it, the uh ah no 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 oh good 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 no oh best of Suicide Squad okay there we go phew good never mind and yeah it's it's um actually got one of them was more expensive than I would have gotten them half off so and it's digitally. Okay, so false alarm for that. Um, they, I do have, it's only, only two case files ones. But yeah, it's weird they didn't want to just collect all their first appearances. I thought that was the point. I don't know. Because some of them, they do collect it for a first appearance. It's weird. Don't know why they did that. But I'm still happy with what I got. Because th those uh, two Suicide Squad books, I was like, I don't want to not get that one. You know? They did get it. That's all. When I put the... No, there it is. That's it.